Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Rusty Lake Hotel, where we're gonna see if our guests are gonna be dinner tonight. <laughs> so that was stupid, but welcome, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Rusty Lake Hotel, and I believe... Go and see if you can help the guests in the room. Yeah, I get it. Stop calling at me. Where do we see our, like, recipe that we need to do? Ah, here we go. Wild boar ribs in red wine with tomatoes. It's optional, though. I believe we have the carrot, though. We have... Ah, yes. The rabbit stew with carrots and white beans. Now, I figured out where the rosemary was in the last thing when I was editing the episode. Uh, a friend and I were talking about it, and we both thought that I had already clicked the leaf on the antler in Mr. Deer's room. Turns out, I had not. So, we're going to go ahead and make sure we keep our eyes peeled for any little thing that we could do. However, we do know that the third ingredient is always in the room, as like a secret ingredient in the room, and that there is something else we should be paying attention to as well. I don't believe Mr. Rabbit's actually on the first floor. I believe he's on floor numero dos. And we don't have the basement key either. Ooh. What you, cat? Tell me. Tell me, and I forgot to mute that in my phone. Probably a bad idea, too, because it's probably going to be a bunch of emails and notifications going off for people who are commenting on the new video, the new monster prom that just went up. So, whose room is this? Knock, knock. Are you sure you want to enter the room of Mr. Rabbit? Why? Yes, we do. Room number four, Mr. Rabbit. Ooh, A5 sauce, huh? A5. So we're always going to need something from inside their desk, apparently. So we got a knife. We've got this chandelier. Oh, an ace of clue bays. We can't go into the actual bedroom, though. We can just peer in. <gasps> oh, Mr. Rabbit is a magician. Well, then. What if I knife? <laughs> Ooh, a triangle stone. What if I... Triangle! <laughs> That's going to be the whole thing this episode. What if I... Knife! Ooh, wait. So, that's two and that symbol. Okay, so we're going to have to keep an eye on those symbols. Because we had A and 5, which were like... That one, A. 5 is like down. That is not the same symbol as the one on the A. So... Ta-da! Clicky. Okay. Ta-da! Hey! Give me that. Give me that, I want that! A thimble? Okay, a ball, a shell, and then a thimble. A ball, a shell, a thimble, and a bug. Ball, shell, thimble, bug? I'm gonna keep going. An eyeball? Jesus Christ! Jesus Murphy! <laughs> what about his hat? Can I maybe pop that hat on him? Sir, you look like you need a hat. Ta-da! <laughs> the rabbit was in the hat the whole time, you guys. <gasps> oh, that—that's part of that's 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 a that's a thing. So what do we what do we want from him? <gasps> Yo, the five of clubes. All right, so we're gonna need to figure out something with this, and then we go purple, pink, white, yellow. Okay. I believe those match the color of the flowers. So, purple, pink. Oh, I think we, do we have to arrange them? Purple, pink, white, yellow. Yeah, like that, right? Oh, ah, ah, we've beheaded him. Watch closely. All right, then. Watch closely. Do I give you the eyeball? Watch closely. I'm trying to watch closely. Do I stab him in the head? <gasps> oh, do I have more inventory? Oh, I've got more inventory. Oh, I was worried about running out of inventory space, y'all. So, I stabbed him in the mouth, and he gave me a key. Oh, one key for one lock, I assume. Clicky. Aha. So it looks like there will be more to solve as we go through. We got the king and the eight. Hold on now. So we need A and five. So A was here. We need A here, I believe. 
Five was that one there. We have the five of Clubes, which goes here. And then we've got the two of hearts, which has got to go on here somewhere. So there we go. And then we're missing one. So we're going to keep these down to the side. <clears throat> Pardon. Until we figure out the other symbols and meanings. Mr. Owl. Stab him in the head, possibly. Yep. <gasps> Ooh, the beans. <laughs> we found the beans. Mr. Owl always has those good, good... Let's see what's in here, though. Flick. Hey. No touchy. Stop it. What if I put the eyeball there? What if I click it and then stab the hand? Oh. I was, uh... <laughs> just uh, having a good old jape. What if I stabbed the hand? <laughs> Turns out it was real. <laughs> oh, God. You cannot leave the room. Oh, that's the entrance. Okay. Well, I think we've had all we need for here. <gasps> oh. Rusty Lake Seal of Approval for dinner. Rusty Lake Theater presents Saturday the 7th of August. Oh, good, we haven't missed it. The Amazing Mr. Rabbit Magic Show. Seats may be looked at the box office. So I believe that symbol corresponds with eight, and that symbol corresponds with four. So we have an eight, and that is like a, a small diamond. Or is this ten? Because there's two there, two there. Well, let's go check back first. So we had that symbol there, which is eight. And then this symbol, which could be ten. It could also be something else. So let's just keep them down aside here until we find other cards. Let's check what's in here now. Doesn't appear... Oh, do I need the triangle rune for this, maybe? Nope. Hmm, perhaps I don't have the key to that yet. Uh, the knife is used. Oh, there's a four. Wonderful, I know where the four goes. It goes, I believe, upon this one. Right here. Which is fine, because then I guess we could we could guess the last two. But what's the point in guessing? Right? We could guess. We could be like, hey, look, the two goes there, and the king goes there. But who knows? Maybe something happens if we actually guess it right. We may have one of the other symbols incorrect as well. Yo, what is this ghost bunny? Yo, you want an eye? Hey, ghost bunny. Have an eye. Hey. Don't freak me out like that. I mean, you take a ring. Get out of here, ghost rabbit scaring me, you white bejeebus. So five is like the down spear. A is the, the left and right. Two goes with the sideways. So if we know that now, two goes there. A goes there. Eight definitely goes there, and four definitely goes there. King, five goes there. Wait, does ace go there? No, ace goes there, and then the king has to go here. But how do we know when we finish this? The eyeball? We use the ring? Do we use the ring, bro? Because this puzzle should be completed. Unless I have to, like, adjust them to be all, like, in the frame of the picture or something. Like, properly, because I haven't set them properly. But it doesn't feel like they lock in, so I don't know. Can I, like, take it off the wall if I, like, click up here? No. Hmm. Well, there's the stabbed hand again. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hello, stabbed hand. I love you. Thank you. So what if I, like... This still perplexes me. It's a piece of furniture with which something happens, but I don't know. What if I, like, click, 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 click? No? No dodging through everywhere else? This seems odd as well, this, the triangle stone. There is still that box that we haven't investigated yet, this one here, the clear box. Ooh, what if we put the ring in it? Doink. Now what? Now we got a key. Yes. There is but another key. Probably top lock. Yup. We still need that third key, though. 
And I think it has to do with that card puzzle, but I don't think we're doing anything wrong. Unless I am doing the 8 and the 4 incorrect. Right, the 8 goes to the one that points down, and the 4 goes to the one that points up. And I think I did them wrong, because the 8 is the one going up, 4 is going down. Yeah, I had them mixed up. I know if you're yelling at me in the comments, don't even. Don't at me, bro. Don't at me, bro, alright? 8. Or, and I know I looked at it like four times. <laughs> Welcome to me playing games. So there's also one other special thing I was told to keep an eye out for in each room. Could be maybe one of these stones. Triangle stone kind of things. I still don't have a use for the eyeball, though. Hmm. Perhaps is there like another magic trick we can do? What if we triangle stone his face? Nothing? And eyeball his face does nothing as well either. What if we triangle stone his head socket? Watch closely. I am watching closely. Have a key. No. I think he's saying watch closely to the, the cup game, right? To watch closely to the cup game. We already got that one down. And then is there anything to do with here? A triangle stone, maybe? That does seem to be something like Mr. Deer's room, but it doesn't... I don't see anything correlating with that here, though. Triangle stone. The eyeball. Still, why do we have an eyeball? Can we put it, like, in Mr. Owl's portrait now? Hmm. Hey, Mr. Owl, I do say you've given me but a fright. Nope. I'm just checking everything, you know. I just gotta mull through all the different things. Now, hold on. This says sword that way. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, a sword goes in the right, a sword goes in the left, and a sword goes in the right. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. So, sword goes in this side, but we don't have a sword anymore. Do we pooch it by not by taking away the knife? Or is this just the thing like, you know, if we had the swords, we could do this. Oh, maybe the swords are in the sealed case. We should probably open this first. I'm trying to think maybe that's the end of it. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Did I kill him by accident already? I think I killed him by accident already. Oops. No rabbit meat for us. Unless, you know, I put the eyeball in the socket. So let's go ahead and put the eyeball in the socket. What up, bro? Close. Open. <gasps> Mr. Rabbit! Hello! Look at all your magic tricks. You're beautiful, you're wonderful. Take away the stone. Open it. <gasps> oh! There be my swords. <laughs> oh! I know where you're hiding, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> now, let us see. So the swords go in one, four, and five. So the sword goes in one. The sword goes in four. And the last in five. Oh no! However will this end? <laughs> It'll end with me getting your rabbit's leg and a foot for good luck. Ha 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 ha! Suck it, Mr. Rabbit. I killed you. You're gonna be delicious. Click to continue. In the lobby. That morning... Oh, no, I didn't get the key. Wait, no, there's gonna be a key behind him. Behind Mr... Yeah, there we go. Give me that key. <laughs> Give me that key. Room four, I believe that goes to here, yes? Yes, because I believe this was his stamp on Mr. Rabbit's. I believe the building stamp was for Mr. Deer, the orange stamp. Because he had, like, the building plans. I'll go back in my footage and double check, but I'm pretty sure it was the orange stamp. And then the other keys we collect will correspond with something like this, and this will unlock this thing here. That is a secret, I a secret, secret. Nobody knows the secrets I've seen. Are you sure you want to cook? Yeah, baby, I want to cook. Call me Walter White, because I want to cook. 
as they're going to have their meal and their beverage, I'll take a sip of my beverage, which, by the way, today's episode is brought to you by iced tea. It's delicious. Drink it. <laughs> I haven't done that bit in a long time. Oh, yes, the perfect dinner with only three guests. The portion sizes were more generous this time around. <laughs> the night falls. As the lake turns red with the blood of the guilty and the sinners. So what do you got to say, Kaka? Go and see if you can help the guests in the room. Fine, I'm gonna. But first, I'm gonna see about that ingrediente. Nothing. Yo, froggy boy, you got my ingrediente? I'm gonna need some fresh meat for tomorrow. Yeah, give me that garlic. Garlic needs for something. Someone's gotta tell me what ingredients I need. Give me this. Gonna be here? No dinner at night time. What is this, gremlins? <gasps> Shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting star. Did I, did I get a secret? Did I find a secret? What if I stay here? Will another shooting star shoot by? Did I have to click it enough? Did I fail because I didn't click it enough? I feel like I maybe have failed because... Oh, wait. Hold on. Everything's very dark. Uh-oh. Oh, shit balls. Hello, Mr. Bat. What up? Uh. Okay, then. Awesome. What are you doing? Fine, then. You want to play that game? Come here. Oh, I can't go get the garlic. All right. I was going to be like, fine, you vampire. Have some freaking garlic, you creepy bat. Just give me what I need. Okay, that's weird. Yo, what up? <gasps> what do I need? Pigeon in blackberry sauce with potatoes. So we're going to need a pigeon wing. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So we don't need garlic. We will need garlic for something, I assume. But what the hell was that bat about? That bat bell hop just getting crazy. But it's getting, it's getting close to the end of the episode, so I'm going to cut it here. Or call it here, rather. And we will do Miss Pigeon on the next episode of Rusty Lake Hotel. This game's great. It's a it's a cool little, like, spooky little puzzle game that's fun, and you get cute little puzzles. It's nothing huge, right? It's a little Flash game, but uh, I'm rather enjoying it. I really, really do enjoy it. So thank you all for joining me on this episode of Rusty Lake Hotel, and I'll see you all on the next one. And until then, take care, everybody.